Did you know that the Arduino company provides for free three different tools for programming your Arduino board? They're called Integrated Development Environments, or IDEs. If you're trying to figure out which one you should use, then check out this episode. We're going to talk about the Arduino Web Editor, the original Arduino IDE, and the new Arduino IDE 2.0. By the end of this lesson, you'll have an idea of which one's going to be the best fit for what you need to do. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Before we start, just a big shout out to Altium for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks. You can check the description to get a free trial of the Altium software. You know, when you're just getting into Arduino, there's a lot to learn because, you know, there's hardware and there's also software. The software that you need to program an Arduino or an Arduino compatible board is all free provided by Arduino, it's all open source software. And to get that software, you just go to the Arduino website and you click on the software tab. And when you're here, you're kind of greeted by a bunch of different options. And it might be like, hey, which, which one am I supposed to get? Just tell me, you know? So we're gonna talk about all three options. Again, there's a web editor, there is the original Arduino IDE, and then there is a newer version of the Arduino IDE. So let's go ahead and start talking about the original Arduino IDE version. It's simple to download. You just pick your operating system on the right hand side. It'll start a download. You go through the installation steps and it'll open up. These are the most current stable versions right here. Now, if you wanted to get a previous version, you can click here and you can get a bunch of the previous versions. Or if you want to get the absolute hot off the press newest version of this IDE, then you can download it here. Now they're still maintaining the original Arduino IDE. So this is gonna be the most recent updated features and bug fixes of the original Arduino IDE. So the original Arduino IDE looks like this right here. It looks like a kind of a text editor. Now, if you've been into software development for a while, this might look a little rinky dink to you. There's really not a lot going on. Like there's not buttons everywhere to have like 10 million preferences and there's really not much like code highlighting or anything like that. There's no autocomplete. There's not a lot of anything. It's like very much just a trimmed down text editor. You know, you just put in your code and, and run it. You know, like one, two, three, four, there's like five buttons up here. So it's just a really simple editor and it hasn't changed much. Like the appearance of it hasn't changed much in a long time. And that is one of its biggest features, I think, that it's super simple. And I think that's one of its best features, actually, is that it is super simple. Especially if you're new to programming, sometimes trying to figure out what an IDE can do and how it works can get really confusing. There's just a lot of different options, and some of those options get in the way of you kind of learning just the basic programming stuff that you're trying to learn. The Arduino IDE really just stays out of your way. Finding stuff is super simple because there's just not a ton of menus. You know, you like select the board you're gonna work on, you select the port that you're gonna have it on and you verify it and you upload it and that's pretty much it. So the original Arduino IDE, it's bare bones. It does what you need it to. It's very much like just a straight up text editor. And I think they're gonna keep this for the long run. Like I don't see them ever deprecating this IDE. I could be completely wrong, but I foresee since this IDE is so beginner friendly, I don't see them dropping it. Or that is, I don't see the Arduino company just dropping and not maintaining this open source project, but I could be wrong. All right, so that's the original Arduino IDE. What about the web editor? What is that all about? Well, the web editor, hey, you can code online. Everything's, you know, the cloud's eating everything, right? So to do that, you know, you just click getting started and you can set up an account. They're going to ask you to set up an account. But once you've set up an account, you can just sign in. Now, you don't have to set up double authentication, but I really like to do that. Once you've signed in, then you just go to the web editor. And this opens up an IDE within your web browser. And it's pretty similar to this IDE. It's not too much different. You can create folders, manage libraries, 
set preferences. It's got a neat feature where you can share your sketches. So you can get a link or you can embed them on a web page if you wanted. That can be handy. You can select which board you want, program your board from the IDE. So, I mean, it's uh, same kind of stuff. Now, there are some cool features in the web IDE that you will not find on the basic IDE. And one of those is the collapse. You can collapse code, for example. So if you got a bunch of code, you can collapse it. That can be kind of handy. I like that. But I would say for all intents and purposes, it's kind of like the basic IDE, except it's in your browser. Now that can have some really nice features. Let's say, for example, you work on a bunch of different computers, then you can just log into whatever computer, go to the web IDE, and bam, you've got access to the IDE. That's pretty nice. So you can get your sketches wherever you happen to be. So that's pretty darn handy. I like that. Another advantage of having the web IDE is that if you happen to have a Chromebook, then Chromebooks, you can't download like the IDEs to a Chromebook. For example, you can't download the uh, older version of the Arduino IDE or the newer version of the Arduino IDE to the Chrome operating system, but you can open it up the web editor and program your boards using the uh, Arduino editor. So the web editor, it's handy if you jump around different computers, still keeps it pretty simple, straightforward, and it's free to use. There might be a limit on the number of sketches you can have on the cloud. I'm not too sure about that. I don't think though, I don't, I don't believe so though. I think it's pretty much a, an open plan. Now, if you want to start like running IOT devices and having the Arduino cloud manage it, then you can upgrade your plan. They've got like a whole service for the uh, IOT cloud thing, but that's not so much about the IDE. All right. So that is the cloud editor. Do you need a printed circuit board design software to move your prototype to the next level? All Team Designer is a great choice for designing PCBs, sharing your design with team members, and even getting your design manufactured. What really kind of blows me away about this software is that even though it's a super powerful tool, at the same time, it's really intuitive to use. They've got helpful video tutorials built right into the software so you can kickstart your learning process and actually get something made. Right now, you can get a free trial to Altium Designer with our link in the description. That's right, you can test drive this super powerful software with a free trial. Just check out the link in the description. So what about this new future version of the Arduino IDE, Arduino IDE 2? Man, bright and shiny and cool. So installation is the exact same. You just select which operating system you wanna download on. It'll download a file, you know, you install it. It's really straightforward. Now you can have both Arduino IDEs on your computer at the same time. They don't interfere with each other. For example, I've got the original Arduino IDE here and I've got the new Arduino IDE 2 here. You can have them installed, same machine, doesn't make a difference. Now, one thing I do wanna know before I forget, if you do decide to use the new Arduino IDE, make sure to like set up a community account in the Arduino forum because they have a forum set up specifically for the Arduino IDE and they're really active on there. The, the team that is developing this, they're active on there and they're trying to get as much feedback as possible to uh, make it a really nice version. But you can get on the community, leave some comments, you know, and say, hey, maybe, I was, maybe you're trying this and you had an issue or whatever, but it would definitely help them make this product better. All right, so what does the new IDE look like? Well, let's check it out. Ooh, well, that looks kind of cool. All right, the Arduino IDE is opening up over here. It's actually opening up with uh, another example. So, hey, let's let's see here. Eh, those don't look too different. Now, I, I've got my font. I always like to make my font really big because I don't like to stare at little fonts. So that's, that's why. But, oh, what's cool, you can select a theme right in here. We could go with the dark theme and... It'll refresh, and now I've got a cool dark theme. Now that, hey, doesn't that look cool? That looks like, you know, more modern, whatever. So what do you get with this new modern IDE? Well, you get you get some more features. So let's, it's got like autocomplete, right? So serial dot, oh, hey, look at that. All the different serial functions that I could use right there. Now you're not gonna get that on the original Arduino IDE. Now you might be wondering like, wait, why would a dot bring up a contextual menu like what and what's all what are all these things right here this just has to do with like jumping into a library and grabbing some of the functions out of that library 
And if you want to learn more about that kind of thing, you can check out our website, programmingelectronics.com. We've got some training. You can check it out and uh, just learn about all this kind of programming stuff with Arduino. All right. Anyway, so you can like, you know, autocomplete stuff. That's pretty sweet. You can go into the definition of different functions and like look where, you know, look behind the scenes and the functions being written. They've got a debugger on here. And now the debugger is only gonna work for certain boards. And from my understanding, there's not a ton of boards supported, but that might be old information. But so you can like step through the code with a debugger. So that would be something you'd expect on a more um, full featured IDE. It's not something that the original Arduino IDE has. So yeah, I mean, it's like the new and improved Arduino IDE. Still looks relatively simple but it's got some more features in here that I hope are gonna still be user-friendly. I will say in the end, it doesn't really matter which Arduino IDE you use. It doesn't matter if you use the original, it doesn't matter if you use the new one, it doesn't matter if you use the web editor because Arduino code is gonna run the exact same in any of these editors. So just because the editor changed doesn't mean the language changes. The underlying language remains the exact same. In fact, if we wanted, we could open up just like a simple text editor. We could type out our code right in here, and as long as we could get it compiled and loaded onto the Arduino IDE, doesn't matter a bit. Now, one last thing to say. There's So those are the three Arduino-made IDEs, community supported open source IDEs. You can also use Visual Studio Code to program your Arduino. So uh, Visual Studio Code is a really popular IDE made by Microsoft and maintained by Microsoft. And it is a free version of a more robust IDE, but there's an extension that you can get. It's maintained by Microsoft. Just search for Arduino and extensions and you can install it. And then what this allows you to do is to write Arduino code in Visual Studio Code, and you can upload it to your boards. You know, you can like select your board, upload it to your board. I uh, I have used it in the past. It's pretty neat. You know, I do a, quite a bit of code in Visual Studio, so I'm really comfortable with the IDE. And there's some cool features that I like to use when I am programming with other people, so we can like share code, and I think that's like a lot of fun. But I have found it somewhat buggy, I guess I will say. Um, the installation, sometimes when uh, things change, the plugin doesn't seem to update quite as fast. And so something won't work. Like you're working fine. And then, you know, two days later, it like kind of crashes. And that is not something that ever happens with the Arduino IDE software you'll get from the Arduino website. Anyway, okay, there we go. So you got a bunch of options. Which ones sh should you go for? Well, let me tell you, if you're just getting started programming, just download this puppy right here. The original Arduino IDE it's not going out of style. I'm telling you what, I really think it's gonna stay around for a long time. It's a simple, easy to use IDE, and it's great for learning how to program. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you wanna learn more about all this Arduino programming stuff, make sure to check out our training program at programmingelectronics.com. Also, thanks so much to Altium for sponsoring this video. If you wanna get a free trial, of an amazing PCB design software, check out the description. Use our link, you can get a free trial of Altium Designer. Also, before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get more videos like this. Leave a comment if you have any questions or thoughts about this video. And as always, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.